Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will explain the Java program for the first come first self scheduling. So first let's understand how it works. So we have the process. We have four process here and we have the arrival time. Each process has its arrival time and burst time. So let's see the um, the gun chart for the processes. We we rearrange the process in gun chart. So in the first come first serve it, the process with minimum arrival time it is executed first. So here we have P3 with arrival time zero. It will be executed first. And then we have uh, P1 with arrival time one. It is executed after the process three. Now let's see how we can compute. the. We have the completion time. Uh, completion time is equal to when it finished. So P3 it's completed at 8. So it is completion time is 8. Um, P1, it is equal to 12. But let's say if uh, it wasn't P3, it wasn't arrival at time 0. If it, if it was at arrival time was 1. So we would, uh, the completion time would be 9 here, right? From 1, um, Eight unit of burst time would be nine here, right? Turnaround time is uh, the total amount of time the process spent in the system, and it's equal to completion time minus arrival time. And waiting time is the amount that the process waits. For example, here P1 is waiting eight time of unit to execute. So the Waiting time of P1 will be um, 7. Why? Because um, it is okay, it is starting at 8, but it is arrival time is 1. So it would be uh, 8 minus 1. Or in other, in other words, we can say turn around time minus brush time is equal to waiting time. Now let's see the code. Code is very easy. One thing, this code uh, may not be efficient, but it's good for beginner. And later on, you can improve the code for yourself. <clears throat> the code is for beginners to understand the concept of scheduling. Now, we are asking uh, for the number of process. The scanner is to get the input from the user. We will put the input in the number of process. Um, here, uh, here we have the for loop. So we have how many number of how many burst time we have and how many total amount. Sorry, how many arrival time we have according is according to number of process. So our for loop will be from zero to number of process. <laughs> so we will get the arrival time and the Brass time. Then I am rearranging, I'm sorting the process. Why? This is useful for the gun chart. Why? Because the P1 with minimum arrival time, it is executed for it first. So I am rearranging the process according to according to their arrival time. So the this these two for loop will sort the process according to the arrival time starting with minimum to maximum <clears throat> so here i'm uh, com i'm computing the completion time and as i said the completion time of the first process which is p3 is equal to 8 plus arrival time right it is equal to c of ct of 0 is equal to burst time of 0 plus arrival time so here, if it, this 0 was 1, it will be 8 plus 1, 9, okay? And for the rest of the process, the completion time is equal, equal to the 
previous completion time plus brass time. So, for example, for P2, for P2, uh, the completion time for P2 is equal to the previous one, which is 12 plus 2 plus it is current burst time of P2, it will be 14. And so on for the rest of the processes. And as we said, turnaround time is completion time minus arrival time, and waiting time is turnaround time minus brass time. Here we are printing the processes, and we are printing finally the Gantt chart. So let's see the result. Uh, we have four process. First with arrival the time of one. Burst time of four, two with two, zero with a, three and three. Now this list is it is sorted, but you can remove the you can remove the sorting. It will be the same as this one, the same as this list. This is as I said, it, it is for the Gantt chart. P1, P2, P1, P3, P1, P2, P4. You can add additional variable here to, to store the original value for to not sort it. Okay? Um, I hope it was useful. And thank you for listening. I'm Hadiana, and see you in next video.